Hey, this is Sean Sean here. I'm going to show you how to uh, stretch a painting. So I already have a painting I've already done. Um, so I used kind of a wood frame to paint it on so you can, you know, nicely roll this up and store it. So the tools you're going to need is um, you can get a stapler. Um, they also have these as automatic staplers, but they, I find they tend to break unless you buy the expensive ones. Um, you want to get this nice canvas puller to help you stretch it tight. This I just discovered the other day, which is really cool. Um, actually pulls up the staples, you can see it. It's for, um, I think working with flooring. And of course, uh, X-Acto knife to cut off the extra canvas. This is what I used to use um, to pull out the staples if they don't come out. And hammer to put nail stuff in. Finishing nails if you need to put it into the wood frame. Okay, I'm back again. So what I've already done is laid out the canvas and I'm uh, gonna staple it now. So you wanna make sure there's color along all, all the sides as you go along before you start. And then you're gonna have to check a couple of times as you staple. So you wanna work your way around the canvas here. Opposite sides first, that kind of makes more sense. So now what I'm going to do is check to make sure this is all lines up, just going to be color all the way around. I'm going to time lapse the rest of this, so I'm going to go around and staple a little bit each time as I go around. And then you work your way from the inside all the way to the out. So in the final stage, you got the corners, which are a little trickier, so I'm going to slow it down. You want to kind of do a double fold, so it kind of lines up corner-wise. <laughs> So you can see I'm double folding. Yeah, um, Jera, uh, the rest of the and so that's basically how you stretch it. You want to make sure all those corners got this nice double fold in there. So once you got that, you're going to be done. You probably want to trim off this extra if you're selling it final. But since I'm going to probably re-stretch this later, I'm going to leave it with this extra.